Hey y'all, Billy here from Strong's Adventures. And today, I'm gonna answer a question that I get asked all the time. All the time. Y'all hang on, and I will tell you what that question is in just a second. So the number one question I get asked is, what do I need to start doing Dutch oven cooking? You know, because everybody wants a little Dutch oven loving in their life. The answer to that is really simple. All you need to do Dutch oven cooking is a Dutch oven. Then you can have some Dutch oven loving. Now this particular one I have right here is a 12, shallow, and it will feed a eh, family of four to six. I have everything from an eight inch small Dutch oven called Teeny, all the way up to a 14 inch deep, which if you watched my last video, her name is Beulah, and she is a big old girl. But the main thing to answer the questions that you got to have to do Dutch oven cooking is a Dutch oven. Now most of the styles that I have are camp Dutch ovens which have as you can see a raised lid which holds the coals on and feet on the bottom to hold them up so that you can have the coals on the bottom. I happen to have a few other styles but those are in the process of getting restored. Somebody gave them to me and they were pretty rusty. But, that's all you gotta have, right here. But wait, Billy, you have all that other stuff that goes with it. Do I need all that? Well, let's show you some of the accessories that I have. We can start with this cookie sheet. This is an uh, airbake insulated cookie sheet. You can pick these up at Walmart. I love these because I can set a hot Dutch oven or hot lid on top of a tablecloth and it won't burn through. I actually use these underneath my charcoal fire pit on my on my um, plastic table and it doesn't burn it, it doesn't melt it. That's how good these are. So that's one thing I'd say you might wanna get and they're fairly cheap. The next thing you might wanna get this is a Lodge product, but they have other ones. This is a lid holder, slash lid lifter, slash skillet holder. But how does it do all that, you say? Obviously, that's how the lid lifter part works. Now, if this was hot, I sure wouldn't be holding it with my hand. And there's your lid stand. And you can flip this over, set it up like so, put your coals down here. Now, I wouldn't put coals on this on this table, but when you have it in your campfire, you can put your coals under there and you can use this as a griddle. also have a regular lid lifter. Real simple. Just put it under there just like that. You're able to sit your lid back down, take it off. And don't forget, when you're cooking, it comes in real handy to spin the lid. Some of the other things I would recommend you get are some heavy duty gloves. Now Lodge sells these, but, but, they're expensive. So, if you go down to Harbor Freight, or even one of the big box stores, you know, like Home Depot, Lowe's, 
they sell them at a much cheaper price. Heavy duty, thick leather gloves. If you buy your Dutch oven from Lodge, it comes with a, a cookbook, Cooking 101. This will tell you how to take care of your Dutch oven, how to season it, how to reseason it. It gives you the chart for using briquettes and what temperatures. It also has good ways to store and maintain the quality of your cast iron. It also has a few recipes that are really good. I've tried pretty much all of these and some of them are better than others. Something else you might want is a good pair of tongs because I would not recommend picking up hot charcoal with your bare hands or even with them big gloves. It's a little warm. So you can use these to pick them up and put the appropriate number of coals on or under your Dutch oven. Something else that comes in real handy is a good whisk broom. You can take this after you've gotten done cooking and you get ready to clean up and just sweep the ashes away. Just don't leave it in the fire very long because it will catch on fire. You can ask my kids. Here's something else you might want to get. It's a chimney, charcoal chimney starter. Put your charcoal in there, put a couple pieces of newspaper underneath, light it, and that way you don't have to taste lighter fluid, which you're not going to in your Dutch oven, but if you're using it for your barbecue pit, you probably will. Also, when I'm using my Dutch oven table, I like to use this. Yeah. My son don't know how to use a shovel, so it became dad's new charcoal mover. So, if you're like me, and you blew all your money buying cast iron Dutch ovens, and you can't afford that lid lifter, and you can't afford a lid stand, I got some alternatives for you. Number one. It's a hammer. But Billy, why do you have a hammer to cook with? Well, this claw hammer works as an excellent lid lifter. Not only that, if they don't like what you cooked, you can adjust their attitude. Something else that works good as a lid lifter or a set of tongs it's a pair of channel locks. Clamp it on the lid, pick it up, easy peasy. Don't want to grab those charcoals barehanded. Reach down, pick you up a coal, pick you up another coal, pick you up another coal, until you're done. These work great. I carry these just in case I forget to bring my other stuff and a couple of rocks a couple of rocks yeah they fell out of my head but what you can do with these place them down in a triangle and you got a lid holder how cool is that and, and that's pretty cheap too because there's rocks out there everywhere we camp at So to sum up the question that I get all the time, what do I need to do Dutch oven cooking? The answer, like I said, all you gotta have is a Dutch oven. You can figure out all the rest of the stuff. It's easy. So if you wanna see more videos like this, we'll have some more coming out soon. But we'd like you to subscribe. Make sure you comment. If you have any questions about doing any of this, make sure you leave a comment and we will answer. Also, ring that bell. That way, you know every time we put out a video. Don't forget, there ain't no loving like Dutch oven loving. Now go wash your hands, because that's what started all this mess, why I'm having to stay at home and teach y'all how to Dutch oven cook. 
Bye. Y'all stay safe. And there goes a loud car. I thought people were supposed to be quarantined. Must be staying at home. These are the people that are out hoarding toilet paper. How you doing during this pandemic, Billy? Buddy, I am just L-I-V-I-N, just living. I need a dang haircut. I need to open the damn barbershops back up. Ron's gonna have to watch a YouTube video on how to cut some hair. Huh. Need one of them Flobies. I wonder if they still make those. Hmm. Just some of them things that make you say, hmm.